What is going on guys? This is Train Kill, and today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on that original Amplify plus Reaper damage uh, build that I kind of put together for you. And uh, I want to show you how absolutely game-breaking that gets in the game. Now, I knew that was powerful. When I had a 2,000 damage sniper rifle that was supposed to be doing 8k crits and I was getting them to do 60k crits, that is a huge difference. So I knew that this was going to be powerful. And, you know, we were talked about, oh my god, 60k, that's so awesome at level 30. Which it was. It was one-shotting most creatures in the face. But, today I'm going to bring you guys a little bit of a video that hopefully will blow your mind. Some of you may have seen it by now. Uh, but I want to show you a little bit of an item combination that's going to really, really break the game. Now, if you guys aren't interested in seeing in-game content or in-game items, then you might want to click out of the video because there are going to be a few uh, kind of like spoilers, I guess you want to call them. Uh, at least I'm going to show you what the items do look like at 50 if you guys haven't gotten there yet. Uh, I'm also going to show you a couple of the items that are uniques and legendaries and kind of hidden in the game. You have to farm bosses to get them. Some of you may get lucky and get them on your first try, but for me, it took me several hours. I want to say something like 8 to 10 hours to farm both of these items and actually get them to drop. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the items now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that you can actually legit solo Terramorphous, the raid boss of the game. It's supposed to take four people to kill. I'm going to solo him, and I would guess 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. It's just retarded. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the two items. The first item is going to be the B shield, and the B shield is... Just, I, there's there's no words for it. It is the shield of all shields in Borderlands 2 to this point. And the reason is, and I said, you know, when I talked about Amplify Damage and how it doesn't follow the, you know, the original properties of Algebra, they really need to make it so it does. Because if you had a bullet that was already doing, like, look at my sniper rifle, 28k, that's a lot of damage. When you add 50k to that, that's another ton of damage. You're talking an 80 8 or a 70 or basically an 87 or, I can't talk a 78,000 damage shot or basically an 80,000 damage shot before criticals what they should do is change it to where amplified damage is added after the criticals and after the other percentages are added on to the damage. So you should take 28k times all of your bonuses and stats and skills, then times your critical hit, then add the 50k to it. That wouldn't break it nearly as much. But when you add that together beforehand, I mean, you're going to see here in a second, when I am killing Terramorphous, it's going to be like 900k crits just pouring off of this poor enemy's face. So anyway, the B is an awesome shield. Now, let me tell you why the B is so great. First off, the amp damage is insane. If you guys haven't hit 50 and started farming for gear yet, understand that when you start farming, uh, like the final boss, uh, you know, the warrior or Terramorphous, you're going to find Amplify Shields, and they're going to be great. But the max you're going to find is anywhere between probably 14 and 15,000 amp damage. And that's going to have a shot drain of maybe five, six, seven thousand shot drain on it. The B has a 50,000 amp damage and a zero shot drain. That's right. I said zero. Now, the cool thing about that is, let me see. I might have another amplify shield in here somewhere. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Adaptive melee turtle turtle adaptive. Okay, I do not. Uh, what is this? Oh, look at that. A uh, legendary skin. I did not know I had. I'm going to use that. Uh, regardless, what I was going to say is, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, amplify shields. So the cool thing about the B is that when you do shoot, you don't have that amp drain. And if you know anything about amp shields, you'll know that the original shot, while you have a full shield, damages your shield, but it uses that full shield to amp your next shot. Well, when you don't have a full shield you don't get the amp damage. So when you take that first shot and it drains your shield, you can't get another amp shot until that shield refills. The cool thing about the B is, is that you're going to be able to get an infinite amount of amp damage shots until you actually take damage because the shield itself is not going to drain it. Now, the reason that is great is that when you couple that with a high damage sniper or a shotgun, a la the conference call, which I'm sure some of you knew where I was going with this, the conference call has a ton of pellets on it, and the amp damage is added to every pellet, at least to my understanding, and to my testing, it's added to every pellet, which is just, it's just ridiculous. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And I'm going to show you why right now the uh, amp damage, uh, I'm sorry, the conference call is so amazing. So let's go ahead and jump down here. Terramorphous won't spawn until I actually have to click a button. I'm going to get under this rock so you can see it. Now I'm going to shoot straight up. Watch the bullet pattern of this shotgun. Do you see the star pattern of projectiles coming out of the bullets that I'm shooting? That is why the conference call is so amazing. The damage on it itself, 50, 54, 63 times 5, that's terrible. This purple shotgun, 72, 84 times 17. So when you look at the original damage, you're like, that's not that good. But when you have all of those other projectiles coming out of the sides of the bullets, it just, it just makes for a ton of damage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and spawn, I almost called him Cromorax, spawn Terramorphous. And I'm going to show you guys how absolutely ridiculous this is. Now understand that when I say Raid Boss, when I say Cromorax or Terramorphous, hopefully you guys know the absolute legitimacy of these bosses. They are supposed to be hard. You're supposed to have to come in with a four-person party, all with decent gear, to be able to kill this. To be able to solo this at a normal level 50 without cheating is just silliness. So what I'm doing is I'm running up to an area that blocks all of his projectiles so that I don't take any of my shield damage. You don't really even have to do this, but this is a spot where you can solo him. And you can actually take quite a bit of a time to kill him. I actually don't even probably need to do this. I'm just trying to do this for the video so he doesn't slap me off the side. Look at his health bar. That is ridiculous. You can see those 9K or 900K crits coming off. That's silly. And I know that, I, I, you know, the, the potential of a shotgun is somewhere in the midst of, I would say, millions. The highest I've seen or that I've done is, I think, 2.4 million. There's, there's a dead raid boss right there. Soloed without four people <laughs> in, like, what, 10 seconds? I mean, that's just silliness. He drops a bunch of crap. Now, Terramorphous also drops. There they are. Every time he will drop a uh, legendary class mod, all of which have five skills all of which have plus four to that skill, and each of them have their own thing. The, uh, I, they, might, they might all be burn damage. I don't know. The Sirens is burn damage. I think I have a uh, Soldier one in here. Uh, the Soldiers is also burn damage. So they might all be burn damage. I'm not sure. Uh, I've got several of them here. I've farmed him a few times. Uh, apparently that's the best one. Uh, I have this one on because my Reaper gets plus five on it, so... But regardless, I mean, you can see the absolute ridiculousness that is that combination of weapons. So it just, it really breaks the game. Now, if you guys want me to show you where to farm for your uh, shotgun and your amp damage shield, if you want these two items, then uh, I can definitely do that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll throw a video together of uh, each of them showing you how to get them and the best methods that I found to farm them and the patterns of how to get back to those areas uh, as soon as possible. Uh, but you know, it's, it's really, it's not that hard. It's actually, it just takes some patience. So if you want to, if you really want to break the game, the, then let me know and I'll show you how to do it. I understand completely if you don't want to do this. I didn't know how absolutely ridiculous the damage was going to be until I got the two items and used them in tangent with each other. Uh, but it's, it's absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, there's also a type of conference call that's not the restructuring conference call. There's a critical conference call, which is the best one to get. That's got a 50% critical hit damage instead of the 50% melee damage. You can imagine with as much damage as I just did, I'm not going to be going up and meleeing anything anytime soon. So the restructuring conference call is just a, basically a waste of an ability. Uh, but, uh, you know, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I called it? <laughs> the Amplify damage, you know, being figured as it is in that video I showed you is just, it's wrong. It shouldn't be figured that way. It's way too powerful. And for me to be able to solo what should have been a raid boss and farm him for gear, that's not, I mean, not cool. I mean, they really need to fix that. And if they don't, it's just kind of silly. That being said, they never fixed the Cromorax glitch where you could sit in a rock and he wouldn't even know you were there and you could just pick him off. So, uh, you know... To each their own, I guess. If you if you want to just blow the game apart, try this out. If you don't, and you want to actually have a you know challenge with Terramorphous, please don't do this because you're going to ruin your experience. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I just wanted to show you how absolutely ridiculous that build could be. We knew that 60k was cool at level 30. We didn't know that I was going to be doing you know two million crits uh, with a purple shotgun in the face and downing 
Terramorphous in seconds. So uh, understand, not cheating at all. There's going to be a lot of people that are like, there's no way you're not cheating. Oh, hey, look at that. Where the hell did that come from? Stop that. Uh, and it's it's true. Oh my god, that thing's going to kill me. Stop it. Get off of me. Uh, it's true. I did not use any cheats at all other than just the time it took me to farm these items. I guess if you want to call farming cheating, I did farm bosses a ton to get these items. So Regardless, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. And if you want me to make videos showing you how to get these two items, let me know in the comment section below and I will throw them together. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.